I've made a lot of mistakes camping and backpacking. Everyone makes mistakes, but if I'd avoided these seven specific ones, I would have avoided some embarrassment as well as had more fun on those initial trips. So let's learn from my mistakes so you guys can have more fun on your backcountry adventures and stick around to the last mistake because that one was especially embarrassing and still has me shaking my head to this day. No one likes a poopy butt in the backcountry and for that reason, I don't know anyone, including myself, who hasn't made this first mistake and that's bringing an entire roll of toilet paper with you for a short trip like a weekender. It's really tempting to just grab an entire roll, throw it into a big Ziploc bag and bring that on your trip but trust me, it's unnecessary and you're gonna use a fraction of that amount of toilet paper even if you're gone for an entire week. An easier method is just to unroll the amount that you're gonna need or if you wanna get weird about it like I do, ration yourself each individual wipe for the entire trip. So what I like to do is I do three squares per wipe and I do three wipes per day. Finish that all off with a wet wipe and you're good to go. Your mileage may vary depending on the consistency of your poops and the ergonomics of your butt. So make sure you're bringing enough toilet paper for whatever your situation may be. Another mistake I've made is that I used to throw my food into my food bag just all willy nilly. And that led to a lot of disorganization, a lot of time spent at the beginning of the day and end of the day digging into my food bag to find what I needed. And I have two hacks for you. The first one is to pack your food in the order that you're gonna be eating it. So for the very last day, you're gonna be having breakfast as your last meal, most likely, as well as your snacks. Put that right at the bottom. And then for your first day, you're gonna be putting your dinner right at the top. And that way you're not digging through your bag trying to find the food that you need for that day. Another hack is to organize your food. There's a couple different ways you can do that. First of all, you can get an elastic band and just kind of group different food items together. So I have my snacks and a dinner right in here. Another option is to take medium sized freezer bags and then just put all your food for a day in there. And that way all your food is grouped together. And for each day, you can just pull out that bundle of food, eat breakfast, put your snacks into your side pockets of your backpack, and then have your dinner right at the top of your food bag, ready to go for when you get to camp. No one likes wet gear. And I'm the first to admit that organization is awesome but I was overdoing it back in the day with the number of dry bags and stuff sacks I was using for my gear. I'd have a dry bag for my food, a dry bag for my clothes, a dry bag for my tent, a dry bag for my ditties, a dry bag for everything, and it was definitely overkill. A much easier and just as effective method for keeping your gear dry is to use a pack liner. I like to use a Nylofum pack liner. I put that in my pack, I stuff my sleeping bag and, or quilt into the bottom of it, and then put my clothes, sometimes in a stuff sack, sometimes just loose, and then I put my tent on top of that. I've been in some crazy downpours and the pack liner has kept all of my gear dry, no problem and I don't miss the organizational benefits of the dry bag because I ended up just forgetting which dry bag contained the gear that I wanted when I needed it. Sitting on logs, rocks, or the ground and not having back support, that's how I started off backpacking, but I'm too old for that now. And if you value comfort even just a little bit and spend time hanging around camp, then I highly recommend bringing a chair with you. Being able to just sit down at the end of a hike, relax, get some back support, it's awesome, and I highly recommend it. My favorite chair is the Helinox Chair Zero. It weighs one pound and is super comfortable. When I first started backpacking, I used to just stuff my clothes into a stuff sack in order to act as a pillow, and then inflatable pillows came along. But with both of those options, I was still always chasing my pillow around the tent as I tossed and turned at night. I used to get terrible sleeps, but then I discovered the Trichology 2.0 pillow, which has a pad strap. So it's just a simple strap that wraps around your sleeping pad and keeps your pillow locked in place so you can have awesome sleeps at night. Another mistake I've made is not having treats for when I get to camp. Bars, jerkies, nuts, those are all great for backpacking, but it's really nice to be able to pull out some Sour Patch Kids or some Pringles when you get to camp. Even something like hot chocolate or apple cider, if it's really cold, it can be a really nice treat when you're out on a backcountry trip. I don't know what it is about pack manufacturers making packs with side pockets that make it difficult to reach your water bottle. When I bought my first pack, I didn't try out the side pockets to see if I could reach my water bottle, and I ended up not being able to. So when I was on trail, I was out there trying to get my arms back or like trying to push the water bottle up just to get the water bottle out so I could have a drink. If you're lucky and have friends, then you can ask them to come help you out, grab your water bottle from the side pocket, and then have a drink but you're also gonna have to ask them to put it back in and that's just a pain for you and your friends. So I highly recommend bringing a water bottle with you when you're going to try on packs and make sure you're getting a pack that has some sort of water bottle pocket that's easy to reach so you can just bust out your water bottle and stay hydrated because hydration's no joke. 
Go check out this video if you want my top tips for how to backpack like a pro. Spoiler, one of the tips will help you avoid pooping your pants while you're out on trail.